So I've entered that. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, we can see the chain of thought. We can see the process. And I must say, like, it feels very, very easy. It feels very simple to use. Grok 3 has officially been released, and it's said to be a lot better than its previous models, and it's actually comparable and even performs better than DeepSeek and ChatGPT in certain benchmarks. So in today's video, I'll be doing a full review of Grok, and we'll be comparing some of the features and the output quality with DeepSeek and ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. I find the best way to actually use Grok is by heading over to x.ai and then using Grok within the X platform. You do have the ability to use it separately, but I find that it kind of is a little bit finicky and it's a little bit easier to use it right within the X platform. But again, either option may work better for you. Just try whichever works best. So either go to x.com and use Grok or head over to grok.com and you'll be able to use it there. So first off, this is what the interface looks like for Grok. I put in some information about Grok's blog post announcement to see if it could summarize that information and it did a pretty good job at talking about what Grok 3 is and what the capabilities are. So the key features of Grok 3 are massive scale training, advanced reasoning, high performance, there's a mini which is more affordable and accessible and it's gonna be evolving. So it's set to be the age of reasoning agents which takes more time to query, to think and do deep research and give you better outputs. So. As I mentioned, this is what the platform looks like. There's deep search again, which allows you to search the web and take its time to do really deep in-depth research. There's also the ability to think if we enter the ability to think on, then it will show you the chain of thoughts or the chain of prompts to make sure that the AI is following the best instructions to get the best outputs. As you can see, we are using Grok 3. I'm going to start a new chat. And again, we can see some of the other features that's available in Grok 3. So Grok also has the ability to generate images. It can code, it can plan, it can analyze. You can attach files as well onto Grok 3. So we can actually read those files and you can chat with those files. For this comparison between Grok and ChatGPT, I'm going to take the same prompt that I use on ChatGPT and in DeepSeek on my previous videos. And I'm going to copy that over and paste it into Grok. This prompt tells it to write in an SE optimized format and also to write in a format that is going to be more human like and less likely to be detected as AI. Let's try the deep search. Okay, so you can actually choose either the deep search or the think. And it says think solves the hardest problems in math, science and coding. And deep search allows you to search deeply to deliver detailed well reasoned answer with Grok's rapid agentic search. So I think this will search the web. And because we didn't search the web, I'm just going to use the think model to see if we're able to get better outputs. So I've entered that, let's see how long it takes. Okay, we can see the chain of thought, we can see the process. And I must say like, it feels very, very easy. It feels very simple to use. It looks great. I like it. Um, very user friendly as well. So Grok 3 is definitely um, a big uptick in quality compared to the previous versions. So yes, your guide to SEO writing that ranks and engages and it's giving me a summary of what I entered. So now I'm going to copy over the prompt. And we're going to head back over and we're going to tell it to write an article on how to run meta ads in 2025, aim for 3000 words, include tables, lists, charts, bolded words and write following the instructions above. So let's go ahead and send that off. So it says 15 web pages, I'll be very interested to see what these web pages are. I don't know if it's went ahead and actually read through 15 web pages on the internet to get this information but we'll be able to see that after. I don't want to click anything for now. Let's go ahead and let it think and write the full article. So it took about a minute for the AI to think about the output. And this is the output in which we get back. So how to run meta ads in 2025, a complete guide to success. Meta ads, those powerful ads that you see across Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger are still one of the most effective ways to reach your target audience with over 3 billion active users across meta platforms. Businesses can connect with people in ways that few other advertising tools allow. Okay, so pretty good, actually. Um, I really like that first introduction. It sets up the article really well. And this was the only article that actually mentioned the other places in which um, Meta runs ads rather than just Facebook and Instagram. Like it talked about Messenger and the audience network. If we compare this again to ChatGPT, 
In the fast evolving digital landscape, Meta ads continue to be a powerhouse for businesses of every size. As we enter 2025, we face mo both exciting opportunities and new challenges. I think this is a more generic output for an introduction. While I kind of like this a lot better, um, I feel like it's a little bit different. Setting clear goals, know what you want. We get a nice table, understanding your audience. Okay, so this is an issue here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these 15 web pages. So how to build a successful meta ad strategy. Okay, so it actually went ahead, read through these um, pages and was able to give us information. So I like that. I think it re read through it. I don't know if it's just giving that as a reference, but I like that it's able to give us that information. It did kind of stop here. I think that's just a limitation right now, probably within the, um, the, the tokens because of they probably have a lot of usage right now. So let's actually go ahead and tell it to continue writing. Understanding your target audience. Who are you talking to? Meta's targeting is legendary for a reason. You can zero in on people's based on their interests, behaviors, and demographics. Okay, pretty cool. In terms of thinking, it definitely took a little bit longer, but I'm totally fine with that. Once we're getting good quality outputs, I am okay if it takes a little bit longer um, because obviously if something takes longer, but it's better, it's definitely worthwhile. Okay, so below is a continuation of the article. So expanding your meta ad strategy, practical examples, crafting compelling ad creative, example, e-commerce, local business, tech startup, setting up your campaign, budgeting and building, scaling up smartly. Here's a sample optimization workflow of how you can actually optimize um, your campaign. So this is really, really good. Gives you some actionable tips that you can take, advanced tips and future trends, pushing the envelope, putting it all together, your 2025 meta ads playbook, and a conclusion. I like this. I think this is really, really good. Um, if you were to go ahead and just test the count, let's see how much words we got here. 1900 words, that's actually quite a lot um, for an article. So I'm very happy with this output here. We can go ahead and copy it. So this is the optimization scoring, which we get from Neuron Writer. It's a 49 out of 100. And I think if I actually went ahead and added in the proper H1s and H2s, because the formatting was a little bit off, we'd probably get something a little bit higher. But overall, I'm happy with this article. It's almost 2000 words, it's SEO optimized. And if I go through this article, um, as I was reading through it while adding in the H1s and the H2s, it's really actionable and very in-depth. It's not a generic article. So for example, we can see here, it talks about setting up your campaigns. And if there's problems of ads not delivering, problems with wrong audience seeing your ads, and problems of high cost, it tells you how to actually go ahead and fix out those issues. So it not just only, again, gives you surface level information, it gives you very important information that you can use. Again, here we see here, um, now that you have a campaign that's converting, this is how you can bid up and scale. You can increase gradually, you can expand audiences, you can optimize your bidding. Um, and then it gives you an example of old budget versus new budget and how that can affect your conversion rates. So again, very, very in-depth stuff. And if you've ran ads before, this would be very useful for you. So even if you're a beginner or an advanced paid ad specialist, this is an article that would be useful for you. So I'm very, very impressed by the content that we're getting back from Rock3. I will be doing some more testing and testing out some other features. If you guys test it out, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to know what you think about Grok. But overall, I think it's very, very solid. It has a lot of potential and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.